Hello everybody. This is Freakin' Reekin from Freakin' Reekin News Network. And I'm gonna bring a video to you today. This is part one of what I'm gonna bring you. I'm gonna sh first show you the actual video. <clears throat> then I'm gonna part two. I'm gonna get into the officer that did this. And I'm, I don't know if y'all, a lot of you may have already seen this or know about it, but I didn't know anything about it till, uh, till uh, Miss Freakin' Reekin sent me this story. And, uh, I got into looking into it and it's, it's real disturbing. It's, it's, it shows what police officers think about citizens and think how much better they are than what we are and <clears throat> excuse me and it's just disturbing I mean we see it time after time after time but uh I'm gonna get right into it and let you see this and uh credit also goes out to the website I got this video from is called a uh, uh, bird plan I'll put the original link in the description alright so I'm gonna go ahead and get this started and warn you that there's some graphic language you don't really see anything but as far as the language not only is it you know bad language but it's also disturbing language so here we go I want to give us priority. Chasing an ATV. East on Rossini from uh, Reno. It's a red uh, quad, black male, black shirt. Coming up to Regent. DPD's coming right at him. <laughs> Through Regent. He flipped. Flipped. Yep. All right. Crap. Moments before this ATV slammed into the back of a parked truck, it was being chased by Michigan State Police, their bumpers just feet apart. He flipped, flipped. Yep. All right, crash. Repeating, crash. After the crash, as we cut to a different angle, you'll notice the state trooper's overhead lights appear to be off. Start EMS. EMS will be on the way. Based on the time code we've added, 24 seconds elapsed before the first flash of lights. That coincides with the first Detroit police officers arriving. Okay, he's got a pulse and he's breathing. He's unconscious. Clear. Clear. <laughs> Two more Detroit police officers approach. Oh nine, he slowed down. We tased him and he crashed out. Those words come from Mark Bessner. He's the trooper accused of firing his taser from a moving vehicle. It's a violation of department policy. EMS is on the quick. Well, there you go from MSP. If you just maybe have a unit or two make it there for moral support, uh, sounds like it might be a pretty bad one. The footage you're watching comes from dash cams, body cams, and security cameras. State police didn't give us dash cam videos from the car involved in the chase or from one in a nearby Detroit police car. They also blurred images of the body. Tony, his pulse is weakening. What's our ETA? Body MS. His pulse is weakening. I'll find out. He's weakening. He chases it. You can put MSP 2240 out. 2240, you're out. 1735. He's breathing, yeah? Let's get his brain in. Same and grind. Grind, grind. That's really... 
Tell me, get over here, for Christ's sake. Come on, fellas. As EMS arrives, several Detroit police officers turn off their body cameras. But one officer activates hers. Should we give them like an escort or something to St. John's? Should we give them an escort to St. John's? We got we got license hours. We only do that for police. Okay. I don't know. It's all for the shot. About 10 minutes after the crash, Damon Grimes is taken to St. John Hospital. Doctors pronounce him dead on arrival. He was 15. He's 15. Where's his mom at? She's a bad ass this week. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. 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 I'm Michigan State Police condemned Trooper Besner's actions, calling them criminal. He resigned from his job and now faces charges of second degree murder and involuntary manslaughter. The Grimes family filed a lawsuit following the teen's death. He was just days shy from beginning his freshman year of high school. Our final piece of audio comes from a canvas of the neighborhood conducted after the incident. Two Michigan State police investigators talk about their conversations with residents. Um, this last chick that I just entered gets it. She's a couple years younger than me. She's like, he drives around here recklessly all the time. Why didn't he just stop? She's like, all these people in here are wanting to talk about protesting the police. He, he drives this neighborhood recklessly all the time. Why didn't he just stop? Mm -hmm. I know. It's what we say, but people don't feel that way at times for whatever reason. So... Yeah, two people made bad decisions on this one. Yeah. So, you see how some of these officers, what they think about civilians, let alone a 15-year-old. And it's good that that lady officer turned on her camera and then... The other lady officer let the officer know that he's 15 years old. <clears throat> and it's just disturbing. And 
the officer that did tase him is facing murder charges and I should think I would think that the rest of the officers the ones that turned off their body camera and the ones that were making those comments they should be reprimanded too but I'll have a part two on the follow-up on the officer that did do it and what you find out about his past is is ridiculous but this is freaking Rican from freaking Rican News Network and I'll catch you on the next video peace